Hey everyone, Marlo1980 here, coming to you from Escanaba, Michigan. I am just going to show off some of what I got for Christmas. Let me alter my camera down just a hair. I'm looking in the mirror behind me, just to make sure you can see me <laughs> and see what I show. Um, I'm recording this on Friday, but I'm going to put it out Saturday or Sunday. And it's just because my camera was running out of battery and space. So, you know, two videos. That's, that's no biggie. Um, one thing did not come from... I'm sorry, two things did not come from Christmas that I'll show you first. Oh, I'm sorry. I should tell you where you can find me. YouTube, obviously, on Marlo1980. Um, Instagram, Marlo1980. Twitter... And Ravelry, Nada 2002. Twitter, I just retweet positivity, positive tweets, wrestling tweets, whatever. I don't really do much with that other than that. I'm boring. Yeah. I'm kind of boring. Um, this one I bought. I, I, I intend to make hats because it's just a mainstays, 100% acrylic, acrylic yarn from Walmart. Uh, Purple Multi was a colorway, uh, 5 ounces, 285 yards. I just thought that was pretty to make hats. The pinks and purples, it looks blue. No, that's not gonna. It looks more blue on the camera, but it's actually purple. So, just a couple hats. Um, and then I had ordered. And I meant to show this on the last video, but totally forgot. Uh, in November. It popped up on Etsy. On my main page. From looking at yarns and stuff. And I actually had showed it to my mom. And she's like, no, you have to have it. I don't have many Christmas yarns. I said that about yesterday. Um, Yarnable. I don't have many Christmas yarns. Saw this one, had to have it. It's Tulip Tree Yarn. Um... Christmas at Fraser's Ridge. And this right here, I don't know if you can tell. I think you can because this is pretty red right there, but that's brown. It is so pretty. It's like vintage for me. It was just too pretty to pass up. And it is... 75% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, 5% Stellina, 100 grams, 438 yards. So, socks. So, it was pretty, and my mom said, oh, she liked it. I had to get it for myself. I did, and I'm glad I did. So, um, also yesterday I said I had went to spin, or spin, spun in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I said I got stitch markers, light bulb ones. They're actually on here called Pear Shape. They're pear effect. They say pear shaped. And they're brass. I don't know. That'll show very well. I don't know. The light's pretty bright. But they're just a brass. They say antique. Antique brass pins. I got two packs of those. Because I didn't bring some markers when I went down there. And, you know, I'm smart like that. So why not? Why not? Um, I have to bend down. Hold on. I should have had this all planned before, but, you know, I'm not that smart. <laughs> Voila. I'm not smart. So, my brother, for Christmas, got me two different sizes of Knitter's Pride Bamboo Charm, Knitter's Pride Pro Bamboo Charm Knitting Needles, US 10.5, 6.50 millimeter, and a US 11, 8.00 milliliter bamboo knitting needles. Because I was telling them, yarn and needles works for me. And then he got me three 
of yarn B QIQ, color Stormy Skies. I need to do that where you can see it. Pretty darn good. Um, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 57 yards, 100% acrylic. Hat, scarf, cowl, something like that. And he knows my colors. Red, black, gray, white. Yep. He knows me too well. And then he got me these three. That actually is pretty accurate right there. And it is black gray multi. And uh, yarn B soft and sleek low pill fiber. Four ounces, 186 yards. Again, hat, scarf, or cowl set. And I will make one for me and one for my brother, because that's just how I roll. Because he said, I don't know, like, how much to get you to make, like, blankets or a sweater or... And I'm not, I, like I said, I'll be making... I have a top, front panel, back panel, sew together. And then I'm going to try one probably around the end of February, beginning of March. I'm going to attempt to do my first in-the-round top. And sweater top for spring, you know, it's more of a top because uh, it's got cotton in the yarn. Um, he was talking to books, I gave him a pair of socks I made for me. He, he's been having a rough, it's been rough since mom, our mom passed. And I thought, you know, I bet you he'd like these and we're pretty close in shoe size. And so I, I gave them to him and I know his feet are always cold and mine are not always cold and it has merino wool and alpaca with the nylon so he got those but I said no it's, it's all good I can do different things well what he meant was the coupe de gras that he got me were these four yarn B authentic hand dyed chunky in the prom corsage colorway three and a half ounces 110 yards he wants me to do something really cool with it. Well, I am. I'm going to make a blanket. I'm going to find another chunky yarn to go with it and do squares and just go with that. I love it. I, I just think it's wonderful and he's the best. I'm just going to say that. This The colorway, I think I said, is prom corsage. But I'm going to just find some chunky weight that's similar and maybe a couple more of these and just make a blanket and I'm going to do it in squares. I had already picked a pattern because I thought that would show off the yarn with the different squares. Oop, oop, drop everything. So that's my plan for that as I drop because, you know, I'm gifted. Very gifted. And I, I, these are one takes. I don't edit. I don't on my last video, I figured out how to add a link to my Ravelry page. A little bit more tech savvy. And then from my daddy, he got me, oh, let me go in here. I have some in my spun bag. He gave me the money, and I picked out what I wanted. So, since I'm going to do a cozy memory, I said that on the last episode, I'm going to do with my mom's leftover sock yarns. Somebody, I forget the name of the shop, Cashmere or something, I will try to link it below, since I know how to do that, in case you're interested. All these little teeny, mini minis. I, I, I did think that we're going to be a bit bigger, but it's okay for what I'm going to use it for. So I've got those two. And they're not labeled. She has on the shop, or they, I don't know if it's a he or she, I think it's a she the different places it could be from. But it's going to be for cozy, a Cozy Memories blanket, so it's perfect. Go two at a time up. There's ten in a pack for twenty bucks. So. I picked that out because, you know, something different. Something different. And, like I said, Cozy Memories. And if they're not enough for a square, well, they'll end up being enough for part of the square, so. Because I wasn't really paying attention when I read I just thought, oh, cute, because it was a mystery. They were mystery. And 
it does like I said, doesn't have tags or anything for who the dyers are, but she has where they're, fr you know, a list of where they'd actually be from. So you get somewhat of an idea. So. And this actually I got as a little bonus from Monica at Up North Yarns. I always talk about her. I get a lot of yarn from her. I love how she dyes. Like I said, I did Kool-Aid dye and food coloring with vinegar dyed some yarn. Because that knit crate and then I, I ordered extra. I'm like, oh, let's just give it a whirl and, you know, do a few. I'm not a, I'm not a dyer. I might take a class eventually, but it's just, I like to knit, so I'll leave it to the professionals, but, you know, it might be fun to take a class with other people, but, yeah, not my thing. But I order from Monica a lot, and I have yet to use a lot of the yarn I got from her, but that's okay, because, now that I got the time, this weekend the apartment gets cleaned, which, yeah, it'll be good, and... I'm sure I'll find more, but then I start doing everything. So, this was a bonus. The colorway is just red worsted. It's superwash, 100% superwash merino. Four ply, 34 grand, 61 yards. And it's just a mini of this beautiful red. And that is showing brighter than it is. Way brighter. It is not that bright. I wonder if I turn the light down if it would show better. Let me check. Because I'd like it to show a little bit more true to color because the other one wouldn't to show true to color. Don't mind the messy apartment behind me. I'm looking at my mouth because my big cat double chin. <laughs> well, it's still brighter than it is, but it's not as bright. So. Which makes me think. That probably showed brighter, too. Yeah, see, it's a little bit darker on there. That's a little bit more true to color. Sorry about that with the light. You know, I'm still learning with all this stuff. You know. But I ordered this mini um, from Up North Yarn. Colorway Isle Royal Aurora. After taxes, I'm getting a full scheme because it's just too pretty. It's 75% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, excuse me, 5% Lorex, 4 ply, 20 gram, 87 yards. Look at that beautiful, and that is showing brighter, and there is purple in there. I don't know if you can see the purple with the blue. There is like a dark, like more blackish, grayish black with purple mixed. Just Perfect. It is just too gorgeous. I could not say no. Just couldn't. And the last, but certainly not least, this is saved the best for last. Also, that Royal Royal Aurora. And then sending me that red, because red's my favorite color. Oh, she channeled me. Um, and actually, who dyes this is actually in the same. I'm in Michigan, but I'm in Upper Michigan. I am in, what's well, that it part of Michigan, not lower Michigan, not the hand, I'm in the upper part, so however it goes. And she is too. She is actually not that far from me, so it is a lot of fun. Am I like off screen here? I think I am. Try to look in the mirror behind. I look like a doofus, I'm sorry. But, yeah, it's right here. It, 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon, 4 ply, 100 gram, fingering weight, 100 gram, 438 yards, 400 meters, and the colorway is Good Morning Sunshine. And if you knew my mom, she was the sunshine girl. And I was like, oh, that's different for me, and I really like it. And then I saw the colorway name, and I'm like, yep, that's for me. And her logo, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's basically the UP. We call Upper Michigan the UP. And it has Up North Yarns. And she is on Etsy. Her yarn is fabulous. She does not just have fingering weight. If you are looking, check her out, please. She is 
phenomenal with her dyeing. And I love her yarn. These will definitely be socks. And I already know the pattern I'm going to use. I have to finish my the socks. She is my friend, but she was also um, one of the hospice nurses with my mom. I'm going to finish her socks. And then i got to do the pack ones for my dad and my fiancé. And with doing two at a time for the friend, I'm going to do theirs two at a time. So I think it's either going to be a cross between the ones I, the yarn I went from Trilogy Yarns or this one. And I might have enough needles to do two different socks at the same time. This I'm going to use a pattern. I believe I already know, the, I don't can't think of the name of the pattern, but I have one in mind. The other yarn, I don't have a pattern in mind. I'd have to look at it again. Again, we're going to be cleaning the apartment tomorrow. Thank God for good friends and good people because I'm not good at organizing. If you saw the mess here, again, I'm going to try video before, during, and after. Probably a little bit on the camera, a little bit on the phone. My brother's trying to teach me a little bit about editing. We'll see how that goes. But hey, I just got my first where I, I figured out how to link my Ravelry page below. So maybe I will try to link the minis and the yarnable that I get and then up north yarns. I'll try to link those too. Yarnable is if you want to do it as a subscription box monthly or I do think she does every other month. But if you're interested in something like that or see what she got, um, and she, it's by Hypnotic Yarn, so you can see other yarn she's dyed. Up North Yarn, she has a shop on Etsy. She's amazing. Um, my cat's going crazy. So, yeah, I think that's it. Because that was just kind of what I got for Christmas and then a couple things I got myself. And Again, I'm going to try to do my videos weekly. Um, should keep me accountable to get at least one item done a week. Um, with I have psoriasis, so <laughs> crocheting right now. I want to work on my dad's blanket, but I have a patch on my finger. I don't even know if you can see it. Which I don't think you can. And then there's like a crack in the back of my skin from the cold. It hurts to do the yarn, so knitting is a little bit easier at the moment because I flick, and this hand is fine. This hand is aggravated. I'm weird. I am right handed. So I use my right hand when I knit, but when I crochet, I use the arm with my left hand. You'd think I'd be continental, but knitter, but I'm not. So. And hopefully more crochet. I do want to do a lot more crocheting. Um, I'm going to start my brother's Jack Skellington graph can. It's a pattern I got, I purchased from Cuddle Up Creations, and it's Probably going to be me saying a few choice words. It's not going to be easy, but I know I can do it. He's worth it. <laughs> He's worth all the pain and aggravation. And hopefully I'll get in a rhythm and it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, it's that's about it. Oh, and I will link where I got this yarn, the tulip tree yarn, if I think of it. So, But I know for sure I'll do the other one. I might forget this one because I have it set to the side, so. And I'm doing it tomorrow, so. Um, something's going on in the hallway. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's great to have you here. Glad you joined me. For all my returning subscribers, thank you. I love you. My newbies, thank you. I love you, too. If you like me, cool. If you don't, that's okay, too. I'm just here to have fun, and it's to try really... I like to show off what I got in different people, or different yarns from different people, but also to keep myself to keep going and work faster. <laughs> oh, my honey's home. I got a heart on my door. Is that Cindy? Yeah. Cool. I got a heart on my door, a door hanger. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon.